I'm always interested, it, whenever we talk to different mediums, they describe the way they see stuff or get message messages very differently than each other. Like it's not the same across the board. Yeah. So what does it look like for you? Sure. Like, is it actually a person that you see or just pictures or? Mm -hmm. It's really kind of multifaceted. I, I don't see dead people walking around. You know, if anything, I've just kind they're of dead. learned. They're dead. They're yeah. passed away. They're, yeah. <laughs> but if anything, it's really more of just kind of having an active daydream and yeah. learning how to kind of just get lost in one's mind and just kind of pick up the subtleties of what pops in. Um, very often it'll come through as physical sensations that correspond with how somebody passed. Sometimes it'll feel like memories that aren't my own, um, but they're still very much in there. And so learning how to kind of navigate that and identify it and then articulate it is, is half the battle as a medium. Is it constant? Is there always something? No. Thankfully not. I've kind of learned it's akin to like a volume dial. So you can kind of like turn it down or turn it up depending on certain modalities. So I have kind of a modality of scribbling that allows me to kind of turn on. And so when I scribble, that's, you know, when I start letting information come through. When I'm not scribbling, that's kind of my cue to say, okay, right, I need to be Tyler the human being, not Tyler the medium. <laughs> or Tyler Perry. That's right. Or Tyler <laughs> Perry. Exactly. <laughs> the, the, um, I find it fascinating right now, and we're, we'll have a link to where people can get tickets in the, uh, in, in, in our, uh, on this podcast yeah. and it, so people can click. But you're doing live tours now. I am. I saw that you're playing like the Westgate in, in Vegas in That's April. Right. Yes. Um, and, and you play these, th those, I mean, what's that, 1,500, 2,000 people? Yes. In a room. What, it, what do you do on tour? What is oh, a tour? It is a group event. Uh, anywhere from 2,000 to 5,000 people can be there. And I really just have to go into the audience. I focus on whatever's coming through. And I have to, in a very short period of time, be able to identify very specific messages, have them make sense. <laughs> it's a ton of pressure. But there's something so beautiful about watching it because it is unedited. It's live. It's in the process. And there's something about watching that happen that even if you don't receive a reading, I think there's secondary healing that can be kind of acquired from watching other people have really cathartic emotional experiences. And just knowing that there's more. Exactly. You know, and yeah. that's not that's not it.